So I got a package in the mail a few days ago, and I haven't really had time to shoot this video. And I figured now's the perfect opportunity to do so. I think you guys will you'll like to see what this is. I'm pretty excited about it. This saw came very well packaged. There was no problems with shipping or anything. And I'm glad to see that they put these in a... There's two boxes in here. So it saves the inside one in case the outside box gets any damage on it. Say hello to the professional Timber Pro CS6150. This is their top of the line, the best saw that they sell. Look at that. And I'll bring you in closer for a look at what the box looks like. Looks like a pretty nice saw already. Here are some of the specifications about the saw. So we have 3.6 horsepower, 12,000 RPM wide open, 3,000 RPM idling, 61.5 uh, cc's, 50 centimeter bar, so it should be a 20 inch. And it, this is something I like. This comes with the, the 40 to 1 mix. That's right off the gates for what it takes for um, the two-stroke mix. And I'll have to give you guys a weigh in here, either in this video or the next one. Here's some more stuff about it. Uh, extra chain and a carry bag. I like to see that. And here's what the other side looks like. Pretty much the same thing as the side opposite this one. And then this one's also the same too. Now I know a couple of you guys are going to probably laugh at me for saying this, but I really like the graphics that they put on these boxes. So I've contemplated, I've saved all the boxes to my saws, I, if I remember correctly. I have all of them somewhere. And I'm, what I want to do is actually cut this side off and either make this and this, uh, one piece so cut it here and cut it down there and actually frame this because I think the graphics and stuff on these uh, boxes are so cool So let's open up this box I am so excited about this saw Let me know in the comments below this video if you'd like to see a video on me framing these boxes and hanging them up in the barn I think they would look so cool. So many guys have the steel advertising and stuff in their shops. And I figured, why don't I just have the Timber Pro advertising in my shop? I think it would look so cool. Alright, sweet. You guys can see I've already tore into this just a little. I couldn't wait to uh, wait a couple days to take a look at it. So here is the bag, and of course it's got the Timber Pro insignia on the side. This bag does look like it's nicer than the other one, it does feel thicker. So that's a, that is a nice option. Uh, looks like there's a carry handle on the side too. Get that out of the way. Alright, so here are the two chains that you get for anyone that is looking for replacement chains. Now, Timber Pro does sell them. I'm not sure if these are the Chinese chain or not. They don't say... They say... Tiantec? Ty, I'm not sure what that's what it says on the links, but... Again, this saw is .325 pitch, 76 drive links. This is their 20-inch chain, and 1.5 millimeters. I'm pretty sure that's... If I remember correctly off the top of my head, that's .058 for the gauge. So these two right here, if I had to go out and buy these, uh, they're probably 20 or 25 a piece, so right there, there's 50 bucks. And here is the owner's manual. 
That boy looks like a, a nice sharp looking saw. Real cool. Very, very cool. Of course, written in, uh, there's a few languages here. I think, I'm not, I'm not real sure. All I ever know is English, so. But there's, uh, stuff on the spark plug and all sorts of things. Uh, English must be up front. Yeah, so the English is the first one. All the safety operation, installing the bar and chain. I know all how to do all that. Pretty simple stuff there. So they recommend um, 40, 40 to 1 mix ratio. And all of the measurements are in liters. We don't use the metric system in the United States, so... But yeah, pretty... Looks like a pretty good manual. So here's some, some more stuff about the saw, and you guys can pause this wherever you would like and read about it. The saw also comes with the mixing bottle. I actually do use these every once in a while. Uh, they do have the measurements and stuff on the side, you know, for 25 to 1 and 40 to 1 mix ratio. Uh, I usually mix my gas up in a two gallon can just for sawing. A very nice toolkit. I like to see this. There's a screwdriver to adjust the carburetor. Here is the um, Allen bolt or Allen driver. And that's probably to put the bucking spike on. And then there's a second Allen key. Actually, maybe this one's to put the bucking spike on. Comes with a there's a round file in here also, and then, where's the scrunch? There's no scrunch in here. It looks like I'm missing a an Allen head bolt. Well, my local hardware store will have those, so that's not a problem, but pretty nice toolkit. Very nice to have. I like to see this. I really like companies that put these in place or put them with their products. And the moment you all have been waiting for. Here's the saw itself. Oh man, this thing is a little on the heavy side. So there you go. Definitely some nice quality. At least from my first impressions of the weight of the saw. And of course there's a scabbard and the Professional Series Timber Pro 20 inch chainsaw bar. So let's take a look at the power head here. Oh man, does it look cool. Oh, this thing is so nice. So, of course, you have the on off switch here. And then there's the choke. And that does click on. And then with a press of the throttle, goes back in and there is a primer bulb for easier starting the other timber pro I have it was it starts on the fourth pole religiously like if it's five degrees outside it still starts on the fourth pole which I think is pretty cool so there's the uh, pull rope mechanism I'm pretty sure I think I haven't pulled the, the uh, rope out yet, but I think it's a, this is one of those starters that um, you pull the spring inside here and it makes for easier starting. And here's the chain brake, and I have to say this is nice. I like to see the two pole 
there's two points of contact here rather than the one that just uh, flops around and stuff. It's a much better, uh, more rigid design. And it does click into place and everything. I've never had any problems with the chain brake on my other one, so I don't think this one will be any different. So there's your regular gas and oil. And let's see if they've ran this at the factory. Yes, yes they have. It does smell a little bit like gasoline. So, the I noticed the handle here. This handle is a lot more rigid. Oh my gosh, it's like, you know, I can't even bend it. And then this is the chain brake cover and the two bolts here to remove it. Uh, where's the scrunch? Oh, there's also a decompression valve, which is very cool. You see that on a lot of the higher-end chainsaws, and it's it's great to see that this saw has it. So this saw it seems to be definitely better better made than the other one. Uh, nicely painted in the front. I'm not sure if this is aluminum or not, but it looks like a pretty similar muffler to the other one. And here's the bottom. Oh, look at this. Here's the scrunch holder right on the saw. Now, I really like this because usually I'll forget the scrunch and I have to go search for it. And look at that. Here it is right on the saw. So, uh, Timber Pro, good job on that. I really, really like to see stuff like this. Very nice job. And, if I had to uh, just make one little thing here, this, uh, this is good, and it does clip in this, uh, this is metal. Oh wow, that black piece there is metal. And, I may, I may put a, a put something here, I'm not sure what it'll be, to keep this scrunch from in case you know a branch or something just touches the end of this and there it goes you know you you would lose it so that's my that's my only thing but this is oh I am it's just a little thing I'm thrilled to have this here this is awesome uh, still all plastic 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 and I think this is plastic yeah, yeah, this is all plastic, and so let's take a look inside under here. So I, I like these two latches that they have here, the quick release, and it makes getting inside of this a lot easier. And this looks like the same air filter as what's on the other Timber Pro I have. I'll take this off and let's pull this up. Yep, same gasket. Uh, looks pretty. Looks pretty similar to the other one that I have. So yeah, this is. Oh, this is so nice. I'm so happy to have another another milling saw. This this saw is going to be. Uh, put through the paces. Just like my other Timber Pro was, I have tons of logs to mill and buck. I'm going to try to figure out some sort of dust collection for milling because the, it is so dusty whenever I mill. And I think that'll really, really extend the life of this saw. So let's put the bar and chain on. So this is the uh, low kickback Timber Pro bar. Uh, not a replaceable sprocket end, but that is okay. As long as you keep this greased up good and your oiler's working good, this should last you a pretty long time. Or a, a very long time. And if I can get my camera to focus here. Trying to get you some... There we go. You have 0.058 gauge, 325 pitch, 20 inch bar. 
Uh, pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. So to put the bar on, you just pop open, or pop off the scrunch, and just loosen up the uh, bolts here. And the tensioner is on the side. I really like that. That is so nice. Rather than messing around up here trying to work the tensioner. So I really like that. And pretty simple to take the bar nuts off here. And make sure the chain brake is off which it is, and then this cover cover should come off pretty easily. Oh, just like that. So there's the inside. Uh, this is a metal screw, or a metal dog here. I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah. And then a metal screw inside, and actually even this piece is metal. So it looks to be pretty well made. There's some grease and stuff in there. And there you go. There's the clutch of the saw. Uh, there's the chain catch. And if I had to guess, this is where the bar oil comes out. This right here. So far, I'm impressed with this thing. This looks to be like a pretty well made saw. But I'm going to get the bar and chain on here real quick. Putting the bar and chain on is very easy. I know some of the other saws can be uh, pretty difficult to put the bar and chain on, but this one is pretty pretty simple. There's definitely still some clearance and stuff in there, and I'm sure I'll probably have to uh, pull the screw back out here to get this on. So there you go, here is the saw all assembled, and the chain that comes with it is a semi-chisel. I'm assuming both of them are. I'll tell you, I'm impressed with this saw so far. Uh, build quality seems pretty good. Uh, time will tell though. So here is the adjustable oiler uh, right in here. Right in there. Be sure to check back on my channel and click the little bell to get notifications for the... I'm going to be posting quite a few videos about this saw. As far as I know, this is the very first video of this professional saw on YouTube. So, I'm going to be doing a, a comparison between the regular 62cc saw and the professional one. I'm going to be doing the uh, first... The very first startup, I'm going to be doing the a cold start, a warm start, and eventually, once the saw gets broken in, I'm going to be doing milling with it. So, hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to go over and you can purchase the saw if you'd like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.